Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. This is what happened last week on Earth. You got to talk about it, man. For starters, the chicken wing queen pen. Y'all seen her? This woman right here. We talked about this a couple months ago, man. This woman right here, she allegedly, or she did, they, they found her guilty of it. She took about $1.2 million worth of chicken. Worth of chicken. Chicken wings. And um, they came back and got her, man. They locked her up for it. They locked her up. They locked her up for nine years for one point two million dollars in chicken wings. I was sitting there like, "Come on, man, that, that's that's kind of outrageous." I didn't see people do worse crimes and get more time. I seen people no, I seen people do worse crimes and get less time. She getting nine years for one point two million dollars. That's outrageous, man. Um, I don't know, man. I think. What's what's my man name? Chandler Jones from um, what's that team called? The Kansas City Chiefs. He offered to pay the one point two million dollars to help her get out of jail or get out free. Um, she still stole something, so you can't get her off off. But you know what I mean. But nine years for one point two? She hundred years old already. You can't do no nine years. Do nine months, and that's about the equivalent of nine years to her. She's like 70 years old, man. Come on, man. But she did a crime. She got to do the time, I guess. But nine years over 1.2. She, you can't steal that much chicken. It ain't that much chicken in the world. But she did it. So, yo, hope she get. Hope Chandler Jones for the, um, what's it, John Bones Jones brother. One of his brothers. But Chandler Jones, I think they quit. I think that's, I'm not mistaken, but he played for the Kansas City Chiefs and he want to help out Shorty. So, big shout out to them. I say, nah, come get me yo, about this story right here. These two people, man, they been up there for eight days. It must have been eight days. They went up to the International Space Station up there. Up there, way up there. I'm talking about way up there, out of the atmosphere, out of space. They say, look, we ain't going to come get y'all in February, man. We sorry. Something happened. Um, I don't know, man. A a everything ain't working right. So they stuck up there for two, uh, 2025. They're going to be able to for some months, man. I'm saying, nah, come get me, yo. Like, yo. Like, man, that's that's a wild story. The Brazilian plane crash. I know y'all heard about this, but it's a Brazilian plane crash. It crashed. And when it crashed, it crashed. looked crazy. It came down. It fell in slow motion, man. When I seen this on TV, I was like, damn, that's, that's how planes fall? I thought it was, <laughs> R.I.P. to all the people up there, man. They said about 80-something people died. But in that 80-something people that died, eight people was, um cancer doctors they worked on the cancer shit you know and we don't know what they was gonna do is they gonna unveil something is it a conspiracy that this plane died at eight passed away on this i don't know man i'm a conspiracy brother myself so you know i'm, I'm looking at everything like eight doctors on there passed away and they said it was other doctors on there they told them nah y'all catch another flight or you know you know so i don't know man i don't know it's a weird story. Congratulations, you played yourself. When I say congratulations, you played yourself. The person I'm talking to is not this woman right here, but her country. Her country is France, so she born and raised that. This lady right here, she just won a gold medal in France for Algeria. They say that she um, competed in the Olympics in the Olympics, um, the Olympic Committee or France, the Olympic Committee. They wanted her to come. To Paris to train. She lived in a small town somewhere in France. And I don't think she wanted to, re to relocate. So what she do? She went to Algeria. Became a citizen of Algeria. So she can um, compete in the Olympics. And when she did, she wanted to win in gold. And she won gold in Paris. The place she t they told her she had to come at to do it. That she couldn't afford to. To come to and all that stuff. So I say French, y'all played yourself. Because she got the gold medal for another country. In her hometown. Still. So big shout out to her, man. Don't know her name. I don't do no research. But it happened last week on Earth. The sky's the limit, they say, man. When I say sky, I'm talking about this girl right here, Sky Jackson. Sky Jackson is a former Disney star who did her thing on Disney. Hey, Jesse. 
that little girl mean aggressive all that stuff and all that stuff is coming to the forefront right now because she's been mean and aggressive and now she is um accused they say well she's been arrested i've seen from um putting hands and feet on her baby daddy she is engaged pregnant and abusive they say i don't know i don't know about all that but um that's the truth i ain't heard about her in forever when i do hear about it it's like damn that's what you're doing they say he a fuck boy i don't know him personally but you know we see him that's who she with that's who she got pregnant that hit raw and now she they putting hands on him in public places so is the sky the limit anymore i don't know man she can bounce back from this it happened last week on earth free him that's what they say about this brother right here man free him this dude about 41 years old i guess that's how his age is man but he um murked something he murked the man that was 71 years old him and his wife and his children was walking down the street chilling minding their business and a white man 71 years old hit that his wife with a bicycle and when he confronted him he started calling his children the n-word started spewing all kind of rhetoric and saying the n-word so this man blew his shit out you know with a punch gave him one punch but that, it was a fatal punch and that man died so this man's getting about getting three years i believe it is and everybody screaming free him they said the judge is like look man this is a 71 year old man he was disrespecting your family calling your kids the n-word he hit your wife with a bicycle but you can walk away man you know so i don't know about free him but yo I, i'm sitting on the same side of him like man you're not gonna disrespect my family come on man my kids oh my god Woo! so yo keeping the real go wrong man he kept it too real like because i ain't gonna let nothing happen to my family man like come on hey man but it's the 71 year old man's like you 71 you can't just go around punching 71 year old man but he did he died and now he's gone Nah, stay over there. That's what I said about this right here, man. This is um the mother of Simone Biles. Simone Biles, you know, she's an Olympic athlete. She came back from all her tragedy. Not tragedy, really, but she had mental issues and she didn't want to compete a couple years ago. She's like, nah, I'm going to hold back. But she came back and did her thing. And her mama coming out to Woodworks saying, look, I want to be a part of your life. And I ain't know Simone Biles had a sister who looked just like her, too. Look at them. Look at them. That is her sister. That's her twin sister. This is heavy G's, man. So my initial thought was like, nah, stay over there. Don't try to come back and get in my life, man. You try to be a part of this. Try to be a part of this. But I seen the statement from another person. But I seen this probably like, like 40 minutes later after seeing this. And it was like, some per it was a dude named Lou Fax. He said, we got to start giving our parents and grandparents generational grace. The war on drugs in, and that crack era was a war on black families, black American families. So you got to be from that culture to know and understand the cause and effects of this, man. It was like, when I heard that, I'm like, yeah. Now, the mother, she could have came out before the end and said, but she might have not been ready to come out and say she want to be a part of her life. It looks like that she wants to be a part of her life now because she winning and all this stuff. But when I seen this statement like this, like, man, like, like, really, man, like, the crack era was something else and they was doing out this they was doing their thing man they gave their kids up or whatever whatever and now she's you know she back to doing her thing she back focused like yo i miss my baby i want she wants some type of relationship with her daughter man so that's why it was like when i first seen them oh, hell no nah, man bitch now you want to come show up now now I'm, the limp is over with you get up get Get over there. That's what I'm thinking. Like, nah, stay over there. Oh, no, nah, bitch. I didn't grind it all my life and made it to where I'm at. Big shout out to the women who, the, um, the man and woman who took her in and her sister, Simone Biles. Grew them children up nicely. Prevailed. But she wouldn't have been like that if she was with her mama. Her mama was on that stuff, man. So they say, I don't know. I don't know if she's on the stuff. But that's what the person, Lufax, saying. So we got to give him. Um, generational grace. I don't know if generational grace, but you gotta give us some type of grace for that, man. It, it kind of like put it to another perspective for me. I was sitting there like, mm -mm. but I was like, damn. 
there was a war on black people. It really was. Crack. Living just enough. But it's my mama didn't do no crack. Well, my daddy saw. I mean, I could from the outside I've seen people do crack. I'm like, hey, you got a crack here, mama. Ooh. Be shout out to everybody who did crack and got off of it. Or trying to get off of it. Or you had crack parents and you prevailed. Let's get off the crack situation. Better call Saul. Ooh, so we still talking about drugs, man. This dude right here is a lawyer. This dude is a lawyer and he got caught taking in contraband to two of his clients. Look at this. First of all, this is a, a haul. He had a whole haul of drugs and drug paraphernalia and all that stuff he's going to get off. I didn't understand this being a real damn lawyer. I'm looking at this, I'm like, no, this cannot be real. He is a public defender. And I, I'm just trying to figure out the scenario or the situation that caused him to bring all this inside of the jail. And try to give it to these two brothers right here. Um, from the looks of it, to me, just being like on the outside looking in, he looked like a shitty lawyer. He do. He just looked like a shitty lawyer. He don't look like a real lawyer. So maybe he's trying to make some side money. You see? Or... That's my first scenario. I was like, he's just a bad lawyer. You want to make some money on the side. Or they might have been like, look, he's still a shitty lawyer, but they might have ran down on him. Like, look, man, I got people on the outside, man. It's going to murk you. And they probably set up some situations like, look, run down there and tell that damn dude to bring some stuff in here for me, man. We're going to beat him up. Take him. Do something to him. You never know, man. But, yo, he was going to be the man. They was going to be it, yo. These two dudes right here. They they just want to have it, man. Look at all them cigarettes, man. One cigarette, you probably get two dinners off that. Like yo, let me get I get your breakfast and your your breakfast for the next two days off that of one cigarette. So man, imagine what they getting, you know, or commissary. Like wow, they had it, man. I ain't even talking about all other stuff. They had real blunts to roll up with. Look at them pack of fours. What the hell? Let me see these blunts. Hold on. Oh, these ain't blunts. These are wraps. These are wraps. They had wraps. Should have some wrap snacks, nigga. No, I'm playing. But yo, you better call Saul. You better call somebody, man. Who really won? Is the question I want to ask about this lady right here, man. This is Rachel Ray Gun Gun. She is the Australian breakdancer or the person in breakdancing who went and broke danced or tried. She broke dance. She broke dance, y'all. She did so bad that the Olympic Committee is investigating her. Upon their investigation, it's they saying that maybe that she held her own um, committee, arbitration committee, or something like that. You know, I forgot the word, man. They used, but they were saying some some word that she put together her own committee to vote her in because everybody looking like, man, how does she make it? Who lost? Who lost to her? Who lost to her? And what it was was a big play. It was a big setup. It was like, oh, I'm on the committee. I'm going to get my husband on the committee. And they got people to downvote them and upvote her for her to make it to the Olympics. Rachel Ray Gunn. That's what I'm hearing. This is all allegedly. This whole show is allegedly because I don't know nothing. I don't do no research. I look online. I be like, yep, I believe it. I'm going to talk about it. So y'all understand that, man? So this right here, she did not score any points when she did this. I mean, this is not a breakdancing move. Like, I'm just sitting there watching this stuff, man. Like, I watched the whole her whole routine a couple times. And there's a couple moves she looked like she was going to do some like some stuff. But she didn't get no points. So I think that not only did she play the system, but she didn't get no points. And I think they played her too because there's a couple things she did. Like, all that rolling on the floor and stuff, something, something, something. She could have got one point. And I don't like that, man. But I say who really won because we don't know who won the women's. We don't know who won the men's. We don't know the two teams that competed. I know the teams competed for the women was, I think, Lithuania and Japan. I seen I seen that one. But she won because everybody talking about her. They talking about not even having the sport no more when it comes to um, L.A. in 2028, from what I hear, from what I gathered last night or last week on Earth. I messed that up. I did this last night, but we doing it again. This Saturday, I'm doing this. So I got on this shirt still. But I did Catterday also. Now recording this. 
breaking the walls. All right, let's get on to something else. Ooh, Fault Disney World. If you ain't heard this story, man, this is a tragic story of this man and wife. Him and his wife went to Disney World and she passed away. I think she wasn't supposed to have some things inside of her food and she told him they don't want some things inside of her food. But when her food came, it had those said things inside of her food. She passed away, RIP to her. When it came down to it, Disney World said, look, y'all can't sue. Or they can sue, but y'all can't take it to court. Because you signed up with Disney Plus. And when you sign up for Disney Plus, it's a little fine line that they make you sign or you agree to. And they're saying you can't sue them for certain things. And when I looked up this more, it is not that she, they can't sue or... They can't take it to trial. They have, they have to settle out in court. That's what that fine line was. The fine line was, you can't take us to court. You only can settle out with us. You see, for arbitration. I think that's where that word come from. You, I want to use that word so bad. I'm going to use that word one more time in this episode. Because that's one of these stories I had and had that word. Arbitration. You can't, It's something about arbitration. But what it went down to, boiled down to is, when you... Like, that's crazy, too, when you sign up for these apps that, like, bro, I, I want to watch some TV. Okay, now I bought some tickets and I want to go to Disney World. Oh, 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 I got hurt. What? I can't, what? I can't sue. I can't take this to court. I can't take this to trial because I, I bought a damn TV app. Wow. That is wild. So, I said, who fault is it? Like, like man, it's fault Disney World, man. That's faulty. That's flaw, man. I mean, they still finna get some paper out of that, man. I mean, he is. She passed away, R.I.P. to her. But, you understand what I'm saying? Like, they, they say they, they have no choice but to settle out in court. But they, they try to get it thrown out. But they only can settle out in court just because he signed or agreed to a term, man. That is nasty work, man. R.I.P. to this man. I mean, this man's wife. I don't know her name. Don't know his name. But, damn, that's messed up. This is a dentist's dream or a nightmare. At a charity event, somebody was giving out candy. When they gave out candy, that candy was laced. It was not even laced. It was like the whole original meth. It was like meth candy. I don't know how they got it in this packaging. I don't know what happened, but they was giving out meth at this charity event on accident, you know, accidentally. Um, I say it's a dentist's dream because... They don't lose their teeth regardless from the candy or the meth. So, uh, I try, I try, I try. But you understand what I'm saying? Um, this look like some Mexican candy or something. I'm sitting there, we looking at this um, on the show Friday night. We was looking like, who would buy that candy? I'm looking like, I would. That can, they would have got me. I've been out here. Oh, man, man, where did candy come from? I've been messed up. Because it look like some good candy. It look good. Y'all know during um, Halloween time, but that's the stuff you put in pinatas, basically. You you know, you want to buy bulk candy, you just go to the candy store, like, yeah, let me get some of them and some of them, some of them. And it ain't, you know, Jolly Ranchers and all that stuff, the stuff you used to. That's penny candy. That's what that is, it's penny candy. And somebody, who was in charge of this, man? Who was in charge of bringing candy? It ain't they fault, is that, like, how they mix them up or whatever, but this is a true story. This happened. Meth candy. Dr. Cream. Huh? Krispy Kreme is coming out with a donut filled with Dr. Pepper. Um, I'll try it once, maybe. But mm, like it's gotta be is it like jellied? A jelly Dr. Pepper? I know they're gonna have like liquid, like this pure liquid, but I'll try that man. It sounds good to me. That's how fat I am. I wanna try a Dr. Pepper filled donut. Flow and arrow. Dr. Dre, speaking of the 28 Olympics in L.A., he is competing, or he wants to compete for archery in um, this right here, in the 28 Olympics. I don't know. I ain't never heard him being an archer or in bow and arrow ever in life. I don't know his daily routine and all this stuff, but he really trying to be in it, man. Now it makes me think. Is he cloned? Is he a clone? I remember he had that brain aneurysm a couple years ago, and he, you know, People, they, hey, that's what they be saying, man. These celebrities be getting cloned, turning into new people. You see? Now he's super in shape. I seen the picture of him. He's super in shape. Like, he like he ain't buff. Like, he's slim. You got, like, an eight-pack. I'm looking like, Dr. Dre, that's you. And now you want to do archery in the Olympics? You want to be an Olympic athlete now for archery. 
Ain't nobody in the hood shooting Born Dead Rose. Where you pick that up at? Robin Hood. I don't know, man. Might be a clone. Y'all seen Get Out? They change, take your body. Is somebody one of them live their life dream of being an um, Olympic athlete? So I don't know, man. I got to keep an eye on this. It's kind of weird, man. It's kind of weird. The agony of defeat. <laughs> this dude right here, man, he's charged with popping his daddy in the face. Because his daddy said something about his feet stink. Your feet got to smell like hell for your daddy to say something. You'd be like, okay, I'm mad. Now, he, what, what was he doing? Was he roasting you? Was he on your dome? No, he was on your feet. That's what he was. So, look, bro, you can't be sensitive, man. Wash your damn feet, man. And you going to pop your father. They say he popped him in the face, too. That's messed up, man. Because you stink. You're going to get mad because you stink. You're going to shoot somebody because you stink. Holy kids, man. Laying down's the law. This girl right here is the first woman or first person with Down syndrome to become a lawyer. Big shout out to her. Um, I was just thinking, like, yo, I don't know, man. If I was did a crime, I would definitely hire her. For the simple fact, I think the judge is gonna try to take it easy on her or some lenience on her. Want to get win her first like her, the, her first case? Oh, I'm definitely I, like, boy, look. I'm your first case. Yes, let me get that. They're going to feel sorry for her. Cut her some slack or something. You know? But congratulations to her, man. It's like, I don't know, man. Y'all too sensitive, man. So I ain't going to make no jokes. So I just do it by the title. She laying down the law. But congratulations to her, though. She is the first person with Down syndrome to become a lawyer, man. They're just like us. They, you know? The Ketamine Queen. I guess she the ketamine queen. This woman right here, her and five, four other people, five other people have been locked up, been arrested in connection, been questioned for this dude right here, Matthew Perry, Chandler Bing from Friends. Um, they say he was out. They was giving it to him, supplying him with that stuff he needed to, to end his life, man, because he passed away. And um, they got reports and stuff saying like he was. They was like, yeah, go ahead, hell yeah, sell it to him. Get all his dumb ass money. It's like they was talking bad about him, man. What it was like they was it was the fiend, man. They need to be in trouble. It's like they um locking up everybody who um sell to celebrities now. If you're a drug dealer, don't sell to celebrities. Cause I see that's how they getting you. They after him now. Um, I mean after her and five other people for what they sold him. They got Dr. Conrad Murray when he was on whatever he was on. And the kid, not him, but Michael Jackson was on. They said he was doing it. I heard about what's my man name? Michael K. Williams, who played Omar in the Wire, had a big old scar across his face. They got his drug dealer. So they look, it ain't that ain't the job to do no more, man. Y'all better go do something, do Uber or something. Said the drugs ain't it. They coming after the drug dealer now. You od. Hmm. Ooh, peephole scope. Huh, this is dirty. I don't want to say that, but uh, when I did it, I didn't know this was, um, hey, this woman shot this woman through the door. As I say, it was the peephole the scope. This white woman shot this black woman through the door. This black woman kept coming knocking on her door, and it's been, um, I think her kids was getting into it with this black, with this white woman, and she came and knocked on the door, and that white woman shot her through the door, killed her. Now she good. Manslaughter charges. Um, you can't kill nobody through the door, man. It's it, it ain't necessarily stand your ground because she wasn't in your house. If she was trying to get in, maybe. But you shot her through the door. That was wrong, man. Um, but they said she had been harassing that white lady coming back to her door. They said it had like eight times, eight reports that she been coming to her door, knocking on her door trying to get at that woman for some shit her kids and that woman going through or she might have been calling the kids in words and all that stuff she coming to check that lady boom 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 bitch come outside over the wow it's messed up she been calling the police on them people man like she 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 was fed up she was she just did it man that's dirty mm. and last but not least face off kiss off fight off 
These are two MMA fighters. This is gonna be the first intergender. I mean intergender. I say intergender. Intergender MMA match. This is Gabby Garcia and this is White Man. You know, I don't know who he is. But during the face off, he got up there and kissed her. And she pushed him off and all that stuff. They saying the fight might be off now. Um she's screaming sexual assault, basically. And I think she has a case. I thought this was, I didn't know what this was. I didn't know this was a real biological woman, but found out Friday through the chat and, you know, people who's watching the show. Cause we go live every Friday at 9 p.m. We get these conversations, but they was like, yo, that's a real woman, yo. And I think she got a case. She got a case. Like, I mean, I mean, she does, she does has a case, but I've seen, like, this is a woman and a man. I've seen two women get up there in the face off and, Mwah! kiss her real quick or something do something like that and or supposed to be all sexy like <laughs> this a man and a woman did it he kissed her she she got mad like bro. and look trust me i believe wholeheartedly she was from the stump of mud hole in his ass she like she had whoop him look at that look at that she got the height all that stuff she got big arms her she a beast they both trained in this you know he still he still has man strength but this woman's going to give him the business, man. And we's going to see it. But it, I think the fight off now, I think it's been canceled because she was like, that's disrespectful, which is it is. It's very disrespectful. Boy. So the fight might be off, man. The fight might be off. But the all the stories, man, that I've seen last week on Earth, man. Thank y'all for coming out and watching this, man. Because, you know, I'm going to do this every Friday. I mean... Not every Friday. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Talk my stuff just like this. Y'all got to come through the highlight me, man. These all these stories come from when I have my co-host with me. I do these stories on Friday. But then I bring her all back around Monday so y'all can hear about it. This, this happened last week on Earth. Anyway, I'll let your boy. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Holler at your boy, Heist Man the Fool. It has been last week on Earth. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.